Welcome to Where to Go and to a brand new week. Uh, and we're continuing our study of God's Word. This week, we're going to look at Psalm 19. And Psalm 19 celebrates the Word of God. The past couple of weeks, we've talked about the Word of God. We've talked about the parable of the sower uh, that shows us the importance of receiving God's Word. And then we looked at Naaman and we saw the value of obedience to God's Word. Psalm 19 from verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Psalm 19 is divided into two parts. The first part talks about God speaking to us through his creations. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the second part talks about the word of God to us. Usually when we hear God or know God through his creation, uh, it is called general revelation. It means we have a general idea of God. But when we read his word, we receive special revelation. We have a more accurate information about God. And so we're going to focus on the second part of the psalm. And the psalm says two important things about the word of God. First, it says that the word of God is God's law, the law of the Lord. The word that is translated as law uh, in the Hebrew is Torah. And Torah means instruction. So when we look at uh, God's word as law, we are not looking at it in the legal sense, but as God's instruction to us, God telling us how to live our lives. And it says that the law of the Lord is perfect. When God's word teaches us, we receive perfect teaching. And God's word becomes our rule, and it becomes the standard by which we live our lives. And because it's perfect, we can't go wrong obeying God. We can't go wrong uh, doing the word of the Lord. So remember, the word of the Lord is our instructor, is our teacher. It helps us to live our lives. And when it does that, the passage says that it is a perfect instructor. The second thing the passage says about the word of God is that the word of the Lord is the testimony of God. And that's an interesting observation. That means it is God's witness to us. The, the phrase comes from when uh, you go to court and uh, somebody has to support a fact, he comes to give a testimony. And so when we read the word of God, we are hearing God's testimony of himself, God witnessing to himself, showing us who he is about his nature, about his power, about what he can do, about what he likes and what he doesn't like. So the word of God is God's testimony to us. So anytime we encounter the word of God, remember God is instructing us through his word and God is giving witness of himself through his word. When he says, I'm the Lord that heals you, that's his witness of himself. If he says that he'll make you the head and not the tail, that is he testifying of what he can do for you. If he says that he can give you victory in battle, that is God's testimony. So anytime you approach the word of God, remember you are receiving instruction and you are receiving God's testimony of himself, what he says about himself to us in his word. And as a testimony, God's word is trustworthy. It can be depended on. He's a trustworthy witness. And the Bible says that when we receive God's word as instruction and as testimony, he makes wise the simple. In other words, ordinary people become very sophisticated people. He gives us intelligence, he gives us wisdom, and he makes us extremely wise people. May God give you wisdom through his word this week as we encounter it deeply. Let's share a word of prayer. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for the testimony of your word to me. Your word is my perfect instructor and guide. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. That's our beginning. We'll continue. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.